All right. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up with you guys? How you doing? I uh, had a little bit of bugs in there in the system. So I'm waiting for the uh, second laptop to kick in for the uh, the live chat. Folks, if you want to go ahead and join me over there right now, jump on over there. You can do it. I got faith in you, brothers and sisters. We are live Life Grace Ministries as well as connected up with Uniting Christian Brotherhood Interpeace One Ministries. We are on the net. We are on the air. Finally got the bugs out of the system, folks, as we got that thunder cracking. Now, I don't want to get this too loud because the last time it did. All right. So it looks like we've got the feedback going on. And uh, if I can uh, adjust the volume, if I can find the volume level anyway as uh, it is somewhere on the uh, other computer here let me uh, let me roll in there on this other one see if I can find it and there it is all right so let's get this for some weird reason I got volume all right so I don't know if you can hear that but somehow I've got volume on the other TV, and uh, I'm not sure quite how that works, but uh, amazing to me. All right, let's take a look. For some weird reason, folks, I've got a second computer, and uh, it doesn't want to, uh, where is it at here? I've got a second computer going on, and uh, trying to find where the mouse went to, and uh, I cannot, for some reason, interesting. I got a live feed going on on another laptop on another computer and I uh, can't find the mouse and I got volume and I can't control it interesting well that is very interesting Oh my gosh! Well, always something. It, it's always it's always something. I've got a I've got a live computer going on over here, and uh, I've got no volume level whatsoever. It's just, and I've got it completely shut down, turned off, and I've got no like I can't find where the mouse is at. All right, let's get that thunder off screen and uh, I'm not sure how to even get in there all right so if you will go ahead and join me over at the live chat folks let's pull up this other camera here all right so I'm just gonna have to deal with it because I can't get that thing actually shut down it's uh, it's got the volume level completely completely off interesting very interesting so we got a live chat going on it is set up right now I don't know how to deal with that I got no no uh, volume control level so Very, very interesting computer difficulties, folks, once again. And uh, I'm not quite sure how to disable that. And uh, I don't know what to do with this. Funny. 
All right, so I'm just moving cords, cables, lines. There we go. We're back here. All right, let's see if we can just kick this thing off. I got a live chat. Go ahead and join me. Jump in there if you will. I don't know how to disable this thing. I've got a live thing going on with the live chat, and I can't really disable it. I don't even know how to how to move it or do anything. Anyway, if you got any ideas, friends, go ahead and hit that up because uh, it is not wanting to. Uh, it's not wanting to do anything. I cannot get it. Um, I'm not quite sure how to get that out of there. Can't even find the, the uh, mouse to get out of that. And uh, it is not doing anything here. So, very interesting, folks. I have no idea. It is not responding uh, at all. And uh, interesting here. So, so let's see if we can. I, uh, that's very interesting. I got no idea. So basically, I disabled it. And uh, it's just gone. I can't uh, can't get in there to fix it. So as we roll on, Life Grace Ministries, Uniting Christian Brotherhood, Inner Peace One Ministries uh, set up. Folks, I got some good news and I got some more good news. Which one do you want to hear first? All right, let's see if we can get this other interesting computer here going on. I got like my mouse is completely disabled. I have no idea um, how to even do this. So, very, very interesting, folks. Well, I got a new addition and uh, see if I can get this thing maneuvered in and uh, restarted, reset up here. All right, well, that's it. That's how we start. I don't know. I'm just going to have to roll with this. We got a few shout-outs to do. We got a few. Uh, let me let me bounce over here, folks, shall we? And uh, as I restart the other computer, we're just going to roll with this one because I'm sure you heard that in the background uh, with a second computer going on. Uh, I couldn't disable it. I couldn't get it set up. I don't know what happened here. So we had a... A worldwide technical explosion and uh, with issues. All right. So as I back everything down a little bit, I want to know how it sounds. If you're out there and you can Facebook Messenger, uh, let me know what is up. All right. So, we, you know, we're on Rabble TV coming up real soon here. Uh, March is just around the corner. So we're looking at maybe another week or so. Uh, live stream, of course, you stream TV, blog talk radio and Spreaker. You know, the sites folks, you know where I'm at, you know, where you can find me, uh, giving that message out all the time. It is Tuesday morning, almost noon. That is the 28th of the month. God bless you. And thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. You know, we had all these technical issues going on this morning. Uh, I was out of the office, out of the studios taking care of some family business uh being about my father's business and uh so you know and then we had the uh overnight snow and uh so it was right back out there doing that thing again and uh as we kicked that extra computer off we got to restart it uh amazing folks uh somehow i'll figure all this stuff out but i've been working on it for about an hour and, uh, well, not such quite an hour, but enough. Anyway, uh, it was trying to just log on so I could see, uh, what was going on with the live stream. But apparently, uh, it, uh, it disabled it or something. It made the uh, second volume again. That's what I'm having issues with. Uh, you know, you can find the main channel over at, YouTube, Google Hangouts, Slack, and Discuss. 
Uh, also, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Skype, uh, Daily Motion, ULC Ministers Network, SoundCloud, MyCBN, Vivo, GodTube.com, Wix.com, Blueberry, Podbean, Podgarden, and Podcast One and Tune In. Also, connecting up soon, you know where that's at, folks. Uh, we are connecting up with iTunes and iHeartRadio. Uh, we are heard worldwide, around the globe, international. Uh, hey, we, we got it going on. God's got it rolling. And uh, we will, uh, you know, we're going to take care of this stuff. And uh, it's going to be amazing. And uh, I cannot wait again. Well, I can't wait. I mean, we have to wait. We got to be patient. You know that. All right, good grief. Let me see what's going on in the internet uh, as I try to uh, try to get this other thing up and running, folks. I've got a second computer now, so I can kind of use it as an extra monitor um, trying to get this uh, set up here. Uh, all right, so yeah, that's where we're at. That's where you can find us. It's 24 hours, seven days a week for your viewing and your spirit uh, pleasure. Uh, also, listen, I'm going to get a shout out to some few, few uh, people, some friends of mine uh, that are connected up with this ministry as well as the UCBIP1 Ministries. Getting a shout out to that. Craig Day Ministries. Uh, connected that other one uh, is over at live stream Facebook you stream YouTube uh, you stream all the usual plethora of suspects of the uh, ministries uh, check it out because the message is powerful it'll bring you to your knees and put tears in your eyes of happiness not of sadness no 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 uh, my good friend over in Switzerland I believe she's back home. Uh, Sophie, we're praying for you, darling. Don't give up. Don't give up hope because uh, God is with you all the time. Pray and uh, just trust and believe he's got your back. Uh, my friend Shannon is going through, you know, something. Hey, we're praying for you. We're keeping it out there. All right. Giving you a shout out. Giving you a prayer. My prayer sister warrior, Andrea, in, in New York, in the East Coast, uh, spreading the gospel. Uh, check it out, folks. Uh, we're going to send a, a quick shout out to her. Keep your, uh, keep your thoughts and your mind on Christ. Amen. And uh, he's got something good for us all. Um. Over at the MyCBN family, folks, check it out. Add it. Uh, get it if you can. And uh, it is uh, pretty good. It's actually really good, actually. I take that back. Nothing's pretty good. It's all good. It's all gravy. Uh, hey, you're putting butter on it. It's all good. Uh, Neil Render TV in Chicago. Uh, that Windy City blowing up the ministry over there. YouTube, check him out. Facebook and MyCBN. Uh, Jessica Rhodes, uh, Rhodes to Success, good podcast advisor. Uh, also, Amy Schmidhauer, who's also a, a great podcast uh, internet connection. Check her out. YouTube, add her, like her, smile, give her a message, and uh, give her a shout out. Uh, YouTube. Also, a couple of good pastor friends. Uh, we got the Gospel Faith Messenger Ministry all the way out in New Zealand. Check it out. Add him. Go find him, folks. I, I'm telling you, this guy's good. Uh, he's got a powerful message. Uh, he's way out in New Zealand. And, uh, hey, the, the ministry is spreading like wildfire. We're getting this message out. And uh, it's pretty cool. So, K1 95.5, the Mighty Power Station down in Ennis, Texas, folks. The good pastor and his wife, Dave, uh, David J. Ford, or J. David Ford, uh, and his wife, Rose. Getting out the internet radio, powering up your souls, folks. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, this message is getting out there. And uh, let's see where I'm at here. 
So uh, we are on the internet, on the radio. But check him out, folks. You gotta, you gotta get there. Ninety-five point five FM KY FM, folks. You guys gotta check it out, add it, and uh, oh my gosh, folks! Talk about some power that will bring you to your knees. That is the mighty power KY KWAH ninety-five point five on your dial for your listening pleasure. All right, what do we got on the menu? Hey, I got some scriptures for you. I'm going to throw these out at you. See what you think of these, folks. Get them, listen to them, or read them, if you will. Second uh, Chronicles 20, Deuteronomy 32, 11, coming right at you, right out of the gate with some power, uh, as I always like to call this, the power hour or hour and a half, give or take. Uh, so that's Deuteronomy 32, 11 verses 10 and 12 as well. So you got 32, 11 and then you got 32, uh, or I believe that's verses 10 through 12. And then you go way back to the beginning of Genesis chapter 12, verse one, if you will. And, of course, Ecclesiastes, and I believe that's one. I haven't quite finished that out yet. But uh, there you go, starting your day off. And uh, as I uh, go through here, we are at live stream, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's cool. It's the wave of the future as we are. Uh, we're loading up the live stream channel, folks. I wanted to see if I can get this without uh, blowing anything out. So if you are on the internet radio, on the internet TV radio, you can go to livestream.com and check out the good message that we've got rolling on in the house. All right. So listen, I got some messages. Oh, my God. I got, uh, listen, I got some stuff going on, folks. You're gonna you're gonna like this. So I, I've got some new new uh, messages here going on. Let me see if I can pull this up without without losing too much here. I got live worldwide all over the place, all over the net right now. So uh, appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate you tuning in. So if you go to the main screen, folks, you want to pull up spiritual because that's how we are listed here in the house. In the upper room, uh, what is it? Uh, In the upper hill, in the upper room, and not in the snow, for God's sake. Hey, we got it rolling. We got it going on. We got everything finally, uh, hopefully, tuned in and ready to go. So when you go into live stream, you want to go into spiritual and you want to look up live events and I believe it should uh, eventually go down to the window. Uh, so and also real quick, folks, I have got to send out a quick shout out to my CBN family, uh, my friends, you guys over there. Hey, we're praying. We got a brother that's in trouble. He uh, he's been having some uh, depression uh homelessness facing homelessness and uh so my uh my sister andrea uh in new york uh said that uh we need to pray for him we need to give him some lift ups some uh power prayers if you will and so my brother you will be fine if you can hear this uh i'm going to get back to you um uh, i uh was at a I had a friend's taking care of some things, and uh, so I couldn't get to my internet or anything. But uh, listen, brother, don't give up, man. Uh, God has got a plan. Hey, what do you know? It looks like we're on the third page, uh, if you will, on the live. Folks, go ahead and join me. It is Life Grace Ministries. Hey, you know where that's at. Uniting Christian Brotherhood. Inner Peace One. As uh, I'm looking out the the window, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, so if you will, hang on, folks. 
you know, I'm I'm all by myself up here in the studio, folks. I uh, I don't have a big uh, crew. It's just pretty much me talking to you guys, and uh, so I don't know what's up with this camera thing on this other one. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this rolling here and uh, get the second computer going uh, for uh, the messages here. I was hoping I could get some people on there. But I don't see anybody. Where are you guys at? Hey, I thought, you know, you got to support the ministries here. All right. There it goes again. I got this live thing. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can maybe adjust some volume here. There we go. Ah, what do you know? It is rocket science, and I did fix it. So it was just the volume. It looks like we're live. If you guys could join me, uh, if you got uh, a little bit of time here. Uh, all right, so let's see if we can uh, get some messages here. We've got a, a, a live feed going on, live chat. You guys can jump on there if you will. Let me know what's up. Um, it looks like it's going good. Looks like we got it rolling. Listen, I'm going to jump into some messages. I already gave you a, a few power scriptures here this morning. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple. These are from a good friend on Facebook. Uh, she posted these up. Isaiah 40, 11, how our Lord cares for his sheep. How often he lifts us up when we are low and supports us when we are weak. He gathers the lambs in him and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that are with young. Amen. Psalms 91. This is gonna, I'm going to make this personal, folks, for you. Uh, Most High Elyon, under the shadow of the Almighty, my refuge, my protection, he shall deliver thee. Do not be afraid. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Uh, you will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Many may fall, but not you. He will come and his angels concerning you to guard you. Amen. You are protected from the dragon serpent, my friends. God acknowledges your name and lifts you up. He will rescue and protect you. My family, how cool is that? What a good message that was. I love this stuff. Uh, let me see what we got rolling in the big book. Um, well, you know, I always got to do this. I always got to throw these extra little material out here for you. Make sure you guys get it. And then listen, we're going to jump right back in to, uh, the first steps here. Hey, we got how to find God living water for those who thirst in the NLT Friends, are you thirsty for the Word of God? Amen. I uh, appreciate you guys checking it out. I got something to say. God's got something to say. Uh, I want to send a, a quick shout out to my brother. Brother Mike Holcomb, uh, Bible Days Ministries in Oregon. He's got that thing completely uh, ready to go, folks. It's amazing. And check him out on iHeartRadio. Uh, he's got, he's got something to say to you. God's got something to say. Yes, he does. I love that line. It's pretty cool. All right. So Romans eight seventeen, the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Amen. And if children, then heirs of God and join heirs with Christ. If we indeed suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Amen. John three fifteen eighteen. 18. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That so whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world, to condemn the world. But what did he do? Uh, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But the world through him 
might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is already condemned or condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, what do we got? We got Ephesians 2 and 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. Then we're talking about grace. We're talking about free uh, unmerited and unwarranted, undeserved. It's a free gift of God. How cool is that? How precious is that, saints? Not of works, lest any man should boast. Get your egos in check, man, because, uh, hey, it's for the glory of the kingdom of God. Amen. I've got a lot to give you guys. Uh, we're going to try to just roll with it. And uh, hopefully... Uh, you guys could join me like I said we got we hey, we got it going on uh who gives you church uh, on a on a Tuesday morning Tuesday day afternoon it's already noon and uh now don't forget folks I'm doing a Skype interview later on today uh with Miss uh Heather Havenwood uh out of Austin Texas folks can you believe that uh, it's going to be cool. I am excited uh, about getting this message all over the world, all over the globe. Uh, it's 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 going to be amazing. Power up, soldiers, because it's time. You know, hey, listen, let, let's go there. Folks, let's get our armor of God on right now. Time to strap up. Let's get this thing rolling. As I also, I'm going to give you the sinner's prayer uh as i find where's my my lovely notes here i am gonna give you some armor right now where are we at you know you gotta suit up soldiers we are in a war we're in a uh spiritual warfare of uh you know all this just all this lies deception Hey, the devil is sending people into the churches to infiltrate the churches. And he uses those people uh, as weapons against us. But guess what? Oh, and I also want to add too. Now listen, uh, they, so they the devil is sending people into the churches uh, to poison the message, to distort uh, the, the service and... And he manipulates and deceives and, and just sends this worm into the churches and, uh, you know, tries to just deceive people. And he manipulates people. And uh, it's, it, hey, it, you know, we got to get our armor on, folks. And that's what I'm doing this for. That's the whole point of all this stuff. Because uh, we have got to uh, suit up, get our armor on. And, uh, you know... Man, oh man, you guys, come on. We we got to armor up. We got to armor up, my brothers and my sisters. Uh, I'm going to give you some of this right now. I'm going to feed your soul, dropping supplies on you right now. The whole armor of God. As I get this message out again, uh, I'm going to end up maneuvering this stuff. So, all right. So, hang on, folks. And as we are, all right, what do we got? What do we got my cap locks on? I love this thing. I am moving up, and uh, we are here live, and uh, I'm giving you the message for the armor of God. Amen. All right, so it looks like we got a little bit of things going on. All right. Are you suited up, folks? Here we go. Listen, I got a lot to cover in a short time. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out at you. Uh, out of the King James Version, folks. Finally, my brethren and my sisterin, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to uh, stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against the powers and against the rulers of this or of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to uh, withstand an evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt. Yes, that's a real word. Uh, about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked take the helmet of salvation if you will and the sword of the spirit which is in the word of god praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there uh, unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me. Now, people are skipping this. I don't know why they shouldn't. It's important. It's the key to the message here. Uh, And for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador. Uh, in bonds that there in I may speak boldly as I ought to speak but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do now this is I think it's Tychicus or Tychicus uh, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose that ye might uh, know our affairs and that he might comfort your hearts. Amen. All right, check it out, folks. So I'm going to uh, try to go over here uh, to see if I can uh, get this thing here. I'm going to jump over on another line here and see if I can just get this to see what it looks like and see if I can get in there. Um, so... Um, let's see if I can, uh, uh, let's see, you know, all this technical stuff, uh, see if I can get this here and, um, You know, folks, it's all funny. This is this all this technicality stuff over here is actually just blows me away how much um, how much technicality there's actually uh, going into this. Uh, People just thought that it was, uh, you know, something easy to do. And I heard so many things about, hey, anybody can just jump on there. And and do this, folks. But let me tell you something. Uh, hey, when you love the Lord and you're doing His work, uh, it is uh, it's difficult sometimes, but it's rewarding. We know that. Um, and uh, so those that are in it, it is actually. Uh, I'm telling you, folks. I have so much joy out of being able to get this message out. Um, that, uh, it's so cool. It, it's so cool. Um, as I try to find my notes, um, there it is. Uh, I, uh, was trying to get this, uh, logged in here and, uh, uh let's see if I could do this here. I had my extra mouse and, uh, for some reason, um, I couldn't find it, so so let's see if I can get this here. Um, all right, that is the brilliance, the fun of being live, folks. Uh, we are, let's see if we can do this here. Uh, all right, so there you go. You're armored up. I got, what do I got on the message board for you today? Actually, quite a bit. Uh, I've got, hey, let's do this. 
Let's give you the sinner's prayer, folks. Um, as I try to try to get this thing loaded up here. Uh, all right. Well, for some reason, it is not letting me log in on this one, so... All right, my beloved, hang on. We we got it rolling on here. Um, so we are trying to get this other line going in here. And uh, trying to get this thing going. So it's going to, you know, hey, listen, we, we got some things going on. We got to get this thing going. So let's see if I can do this here. And uh, yes, I can get this thing rolling here. Well, we hopefully looking outside. We got something going on here. And I wonder why we got this thing. Interesting, folks. Hey, family. We are rolling right along here. A little bit distracted trying to get this thing set up and logged in. But uh, it doesn't want to seem to connect. So, you know, it's always something. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, what are you doing? What's going on? Listen, we are, we're going we're gonna to just roll right along here and... Uh, Let's see if I can get this thing going on here. All right. All right. All right. All right, you guys. We got, uh, we're connected. We're up and running. Uh, you guys are awesome and appreciate the views and the connection here. Uh, really cool. Hey Amen. I finally got that mess taken care of. Now let's get into, as we're just looking, we're only a half an hour into this folks. I got a lot more to give you. Let me see if I can scoot up here. You know, I got this, uh, the, the rocker chair, the captain chair, cause I'm not in charge. I'm not in control. I am just a voice in the wilderness. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too scattered for you. We got some things rolling up here. I uh, appreciate you guys just hanging out. We got the cameras going. It's all up and running. It is live, and we are, uh, you know, hey, we're just we're just th throwing this out here, folks. Uh, Romans ten nine and ten. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now, I usually would stop there because you know the rest of it, folks. You guys already know this. So if we skip down to uh, 13, verse 13, or 12 actually, um, well, let's go back up to 11. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the... the uh, the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For so whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. How then shall they call on him if they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach? Pay attention, folks. Check it out. 
How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they all have not obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes. Verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know first Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy that are no people, and by the foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold, and he saith, I was found of them that sought me, not I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me, but to Israel. He saith all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. All right, family, listen, let me uh, let me get up here and, and stretch a bit. Take a deep breath. We uh, we got a lot more to cover. We got a lot more to go. It's after 12. What are you doing on a Tuesday afternoon, folks? Uh, I'm going to give you this other part here. So go ahead and say this, if you will, folks. Uh, if you, uh, you know, your heart's repentant. And, uh, hey, we're just getting this message out. Um, so, all right, you know, I'm multitasking here. It is cool. I, uh, I have got to actually readjust, uh, the second computer here. I've got a second one added. Uh, my good friend, Nancy, uh, donated into the ministry here. And, uh, so, you know, this thing is growing, folks. It is branching into... Now, listen, we are live already in 30 countries. Uh, as my Twitter and Facebook... My, well, mainly the Twitter, folks. The Twitter has been blowing up. The views all over uh, the YouTube channel. If you guys could add, like, and subscribe, that would be greatly uh, appreciated. Uh, so, um, it, you know, listen, we, uh, we're just trying to get this message out and, uh, trying to, uh, Hey, we just, uh, we just want to get this message out. All right. Beautiful, beautiful today outside, if you will, um, all right, so as I get a little bit of volume, I want to make sure that I'm on and I can hear uh, what is up uh, because uh, I want to make sure that uh, that's that comes into play with the second uh, the second um, with a second computer. Uh, it's really important. Uh, that we hear everything that we see, we can be able to see everything. All right, folks, do you got your uh, boots on? Have you strapped up? You got the armor of God on, and uh, we're gonna give you. Uh, listen, we're just gonna throw this right in there right now. Listen, we got the second part of uh, the sinner's prayer. As, uh, let me see if I can adjust and pull this back a little bit. There we go. Hey, it's amazing what uh, a boom stand can actually do, folks. As I'm looking into the computer, uh, looking into the camera, um, and oh, I want to make sure we are alive. Can you see me now? Hey, there you go. Oh, uh, my gosh, folks. You know, it's always something. There's always something live going on happening right now. We are, uh, what is it, Tuesday and afternoon. Uh, so we're just, hey, we're drinking that mud. Did you forget about that? You got your big book of love. You got your mud. You got your coffee, pens and paper, notebook, tablets, uh, all the important key necessities 
of class because you are in class, my friends. Uh, in the uh, the good book, the King James Version, and also the NLT. Are you thirsty for the Word of God? Amen. I'm coming to you live on uh, the internet radio on the main uh, the main channel. Now, listen. When we go over, we're going to go back over to Rabble TV here uh, coming up shortly in March. And uh, but listen, I'm going to be doing daily shows. Uh, I think what I want to do is a morning show at live stream. Get that loaded up over to YouTube, uh, my main YouTube channel. And then in the later afternoon, I'm going to be on Rabble TV. I'm going to give you the King James Version. We're going to the whole entire book of Daniel. Check that out, folks. Uh, I hope that you uh, you get it. You know, I, I'm going to go through it. The Holy Spirit told me to uh, go back over the book of Daniel. There is a major lesson in there that we're missing. There is a key point to all this, and we're missing it. Have you fallen asleep on Jesus? Amen. Uh, so this is why I'm, I'm kind of digging deep. I'm kind of going back into some things that really I haven't heard anybody really talk about. Uh, I kind of give a different message. I kind of deliver it a little bit different. Um, you know, and uh, it, it's just the way the Holy Spirit quickened me. Uh, you know, and I, I know, listen, I'm, I, folks, I admit it. I'm a, a little different than in the most podcasts. Uh, I've got a little, like I said, a little bit different uh, deliverance, a little bit different messages. I'm coming to you straight out of the Word of God. Now, I've been called all kinds of names. It's really baffling to me. Actually, people would go on somebody else's site and just badmouth them and cut them down instead of uh, supporting them. Um, and so this is what, you know, like I, I just don't get it. I don't understand that. Why would you take time out of your day, out of your schedule, to watch other people's ministries or other people's channels and then badmouth them and put them down and belittle them like you're better than them? Come on. You know, family, we're listen, we're praying for you. We're we're sending some healing out there to let God into your heart. And this is why I give a message. So listen, let's get into the sinner's prayer. So you got your big book of love. You got your Bibles. You got your mud, your coffee going on, or your tea. It's a nice afternoon. I heard it was 88 degrees on the East Coast. Wow. I w- we, hey, we're getting there, folks. We're, we're still into the 20s or something like that. It's still snow-filled, snowbound. It's all right, man. You got uh, God in your heart. You're warm and fuzzy all over. You got that warm and fuzzy feeling. Amen. It's true. Uh, All right. So listen, we are up and running. The monitor is going. We got the second computer. Got a little bit of work to do on that thing. It's got a a little bit of a crack screen, but uh, it's all right. It operates. It's functional. It uh, it's styling and profiling, as you know, on the wrestling folks, the nature boy, uh, as you got it uh, styling and profiling. Amen. That is the God uh, word of God. Amen. Uh, all right. Are you having fun, kids? Well, hey, just getting this word out, just getting the message out. I appreciate you guys. Hanging in there with me. This is look. We got over 155 messages out there in the archives. Check it out. Add it, like it, subscribe to it if you will. I I love doing this. Like I said, uh, it's uh, it's not a job. It is a, a a pleasure and a privilege to be able to bring the message of God to you guys. It's like a euphoric feeling, uh, a spirit rush. Um, I call them shifts because that's what it feels like. Uh, my whole mindset is being shifted and delivered into another direction. Uh, that's It just blows me away. I am just enamored and just blown away by it every day. Uh, so, 
you know, take a deep breath, family. Uh, we got to get that. Uh, just hey, listen, just hang in there with me, folks. Uh, you know, we're going somewhere. I got a, I got a long ways to go. I know. Uh, listen, we're going uh, we're going to be going to our two hundredth episode here very shortly. Uh, as I approach my one hundred and sixtieth show. Uh, I just, you know, I was going to get last night, but I have been sick all weekend and just bringing, you know, this cough, this cold. Hey, it's the bug that's going around. But guess what? I got the antidote. I got the healer delivering the message to you right now. It, it's true. It's really true, folks. If you believe and receive, are you believing? Are you receiving, you know, um, so... Hey, now listen, we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do two or three shows a day. I'm going to try to get on there, make an effort to get this done. I got one in the morning, one in the afternoon, maybe one in the evening. I don't know. It depends on what the spirit wants. So I think I'm going to deliver about an hour and a half every show between an hour and, and an hour and a half. Uh, because if we can't spend a little bit of time with God, if we can't get in there with the word of God, uh, come on, folks. You can turn off your TV for an hour and a half, even if it's 30 minutes, if you watch live, and then just go back to your show and then come back to the other half. You know, add, like, and subscribe, if you will. I appreciate your views. And uh, now send me some good messages. If you send me any hate mail, I'm still going to love you anyway. You know, I heard now somebody told me or somebody I saw this somewhere. Somebody said something. You got to you got to love the haters. And, uh, you know, love your enemies. Hey, hey, it's scriptural, folks. It's biblical, scripturally proven or, or written. So I'm just a messenger, folks. I just want to get this message out. That's God's point. You have, we have fall, fallen asleep on the word of God. Amen. Like I said, I threw these scriptures at you at the beginning. Folks, if you want to go ahead and look them up and meditate. Second Chronicles 20, Deuteronomy 32, uh, 11, 10, and I believe 12. Genesis 12 and 1 and the book of Ecclesiastes uh, Hey, we're just firing back at the devil because the devil is a liar. He comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, sending the poison within the churches and, and destroying it from the inside out until it explodes. But we got to, uh, as I look out, hang on. I got to look out my my window at the beautiful sunshine we got going on here. It is amazing, uh, finally getting some decent weather uh, as uh, I just kind of perusing out my window. It's uh, a really awesome day. I was out there actually earlier. Um, no, nobody's going on. I had, uh, had uh, hang on, there we go. I, uh, you know, I was checking out the windows. I got a, a nice uh, front view uh, at the studios here and I had cars coming by and uh, you know I got the signs up so I know that's going to look a little odd when you look at the video uh, somewhere up there it's uh, it's hey, you know I like I said um, I was just enjoying the view you know I was out there shoveling looking around checking it out uh, and uh, just looking outside it's a nice day so i didn't know if they were going to pull up because they do have my signs up but uh sometimes i get people that'll just cruise up and you know not see the signs so it's uh you know it, it's not even i don't know just just kind of looking at it and stuff and you know kind of rolling around but i never know the studios are pretty busy it's an active site and uh pretty amazing uh, it is a beautiful complex in the upper hill and we are in the upper room giving a message out and I love all those people that come by. Uh, it's, um, it's amazing that they come by to, to hear the word. 
I even had a uh, what was it? I had uh, a dove uh, come into the windows not too long ago. That was pretty cool. Uh, usually in the summertime, I have the windows open, and uh, you get to hear all that amazing uh, God's amazing. Uh, I don't call it noise at all, folks. Uh, you get to hear His amazing nature at its finest. That's cool. All right, so let's get back into the message. What are you doing? How are you doing? We're look at we're approaching our hour here. Uh, this is Life Grace Ministries connected with Uniting Christian Brotherhood Inner Peace One. Don't forget that magical number one, folks. Uh, the Inner Peace One Ministries. Uh, check it out. Add and like. Uh, we're getting this uh, attack of the devil. We're gonna attack back soldiers and i'm going to give you that message it's just come to mind i got to give you that the soldier message uh all right let's get some mud folks let's go amen for the coffee all right the sinner's prayer a salvation part two uh go ahead and uh close your eyes go ahead and bow your heads if you will uh, say this, uh, if you want, dear Jesus, I am a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. Now, I don't know why I do this every, so many messages and, um, uh, so much here. I, uh, I forgot, uh, I forgot to. Of course, my pens uh, almost run out of ink. All right. You guys are so amazing and so awesome. Uh, blessings and shalom. I thank you for dying on the cross for me, and I confess with my mouth, I believe you are the Lord and that God raised you from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins uh, and wash my heart clean. And care. Is that what he said? He said clean. And come and live. In my heart be the Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to work with you. Walk with you. Work? What? Really? Walk with you friends. Uh, and live for you. The rest of my life. Amen. Ah, there you go. Hang on, we're not done yet. I got more. And I confess that I am a sinner and I have prayed for giving all those who have sinned against me or trespassed against me. I ask for strength for the Lord, from the Lord to help me follow a path and to lead others. By the will of God, amen. Because all our sins, past, present, and future, have been wiped away clean from when Jesus died on the cross for us. Amen. Listen, you can get a hold of us. Welcome to the family of God. You've uh you've repented and you've uh you've chosen to uh take uh Christ into your hearts. Add and come and find us folks. Listen, we we hey, we'll pray for you. I've got a ministry team uh, we are part, I am part of a, a, a minister, ministry, uh, you know, a, a group. We Listen, we've got it. So if you want to, you want to connect up with us, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, you guys uh, go ahead and uh, add and uh, find us. Um, you can get a hold of me at lifegraceministries60 at gmail.com. That is the official email for uh this ministry uh as well as now we're we, you can get a hold of us also over at youtube uh the usual like i said youtube facebook twitter uh ustream tv uh wix all that stuff um you guys can go ahead and check it out uh wordpress as well we can find us on wordpress.com blueberry of course that's a new site i haven't quite got there yet but the Discuss one, D-I-S-Q-U-S, you guys can get a hold of me anytime there. Uh, I have all the sites out, folks. You guys can just go ahead and jump over there. Um, 
What do we got? We got First John 5, 13, 15. Amen. So uh, go ahead and connect up with us, folks. Hey, we'll, we'll get you going here. Um, and then I got, like I said, real quick here. First uh, John 5, 13, 15. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his uh, will, he heareth us. And if we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him, God's word will not fail us. If we'll not refuse to give up, friends, you can't give up. You got to hang in there. Hold on. God's got something for you. Standing on the rock of God's word and it won't let you down. God's word will not fail us, brothers and sisters. Uh, My friends, it is important for us to realize that after we have prayed an apparent delay or not hearing God's voice in the answer uh, doesn't mean help is not on the way. Come on. God is always, he, he hears us. He knows what we are, he knows what we're thinking. He knows what, uh, but he wants to hear it. That's the difference. You guys, he, he wants to hear what uh, what we need, you know. All right, so let's see. Now, remember, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And you ask, minister, well, why would he flee from us? Because he is afraid of the greater one that is in us. James 4, 7. Surrender yourselves, or surrender, yeah, I believe... Uh, my gosh, I I left that out again, and that's always cool. I always love this stuff. Uh, so there we go. Surrender yourselves completely to the Lord. Uh, apply God's promises to your everyday life. Amen. Uh, I'm just trying to correct my misspelling here again and again and again but like i said folks that is okay all right surrender yourselves completely to the lord trust him no matter what comes your way receive what god has already provided be encouraged to keep your faith in god no matter what obstacles you face he will turn your situations around. He does and he will. And the last one from Carrie, John 10, 27, 30, and my sheep listen to my voice. Uh, I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hands. And there you go. All right. So we are walking in the Spirit. As we ought to be walking in the Spirit. Not John 10, 20, or 12, 25, and 27. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. Or life eternal. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say, Father? Um... Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause, I came unto this hour. Amen. Man, I got so much to give you. I don't even know where to start, folks. Like I said, uh, you know, we got to do the fear of prayer. Father, how grateful I am for your awesome love for me. You know uh, my fears and offer me your peace. Thank you for helping me overcome my apprehensions. Please reveal the origins of my fear so they can be removed completely. I recognize that I am facing a faith battle today. Therefore, Lord, please continue to give me strength and encourage me with your word. Show me who you are so I can stand strong against these fears and declare in faith my God is wiser, more loving, and more powerful than any problem. Check it out. Any problem I will ever face. Day by day, help me to place my focus on your faithful character 
and unfailing principles so that I can be a person of courage and conviction. Thank you, Father, for helping me lay down my fears on the basis of who you are and what you have promised me. I do not have to be afraid because you are always with me. You are my God, and you will strengthen and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Truly, you are worthy of all the honor, glory, power, and praise. My soul rests in you, Father. And in Jesus' name, uh, the church says, Amen. All right. I, I'm suiting you up. I'm getting you ready. We are in a faith battle. And uh, we have, uh, we've got to arm ourselves every single day. Now, you know, listen, you know, Psalms 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of, is the strength of my life. Uh, of whom shall I be afraid? No one, none, none shall we be afraid of. I'm uh, just cruising over the messages here as usual. Um. I have uh, tore my pages uh, again, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with this stuff. All right, family, what do we got? I was going to try to give you this, uh, where are we at here? The soldier one. Amen. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're just cruising Right along the way here. Now, listen, I got to give you this 2 Timothy 1 6 through 9. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God uh, by the laying on of hands, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. Be not, though, therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel, according to the power of God who hath saved us. And call us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Now, where is that? Amen. All right, so we are just rolling right along here. Now, I was going to give you this other scripture, but uh, I know it is somewhere. I, I Now, I've reorganized this thing about five times. I've written 90 pages plus more than once. Um, somewhere... <coughs> Possess the promises, possess the promise. God's word says it is his will to heal us. And through Jesus' death on Calvary and resurrection, the price for sin has been paid and sickness has been borne away. As you walk with God, take time every day to thank him for the gift of healing that he has given us through Christ Jesus or, uh, and know that like any other gift, it is ours freely. Talking about grace, family, all we have to do is accept it. Wait a minute, minister. Did you say that? Minister, did you say that all we have to do is accept it? That's exactly what I'm telling you, friends. All we have to do is accept it. And by faith, possess the healing God has promised us in Isaiah 53, 4, and 5. Know what belongs to you. God doesn't want us to wonder whether it is his will that we be healed. He wants us to know what his word says about it in Christ. We are already healed, my family, by his stripes. Amen. And we let his word build up our faith for healing whenever we need it. How cool is that? Amen. Um, 
All right, so. Amen. I'm just throwing some messages out there, folks. Join me if you will. We got a live chat line in the room going on over here at live stream. I've got a second computer set up. Uh, beautiful, my friend Nancy. Um, checking it out. Um, it is good. All right, so. Amen, my family, as I'm looking and reading. Hey, we got a, one more little quick thing I'm going to give you. We might run a little bit early or later because we started out so late. I want to make sure that uh, I get all this in as we are going into, um, we are going in here into our, into our hour and uh, about an hour and 10 minutes. So I want to make sure that we get this out. Because it's doable, and God says the king's word is power. And you know what? Jesus' death certificate became our birth certificate. How cool is that? Amen. As we just peruse through, uh, amen. Well, my family, listen, we're going to just... Now, i got to give you this. Isaiah 53, 4, 5. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was him. And by his stripes... What, folks? I hear you. We are healed. All right, I feel a sneeze coming on, but I am going to suppress that. Get some more coffee here. Um, because, you know, we got to keep that mud going. It's early afternoon. Uh, I'm getting ready to gear up here for a radio interview. Um, I'm excited about that. That's going to be amazing again. That, uh, you know, finally, listen, I'm not in this for any kind of fame or glory. Listen, I'm glorifying uh, Christ because we have to obey the calling. Those of us that have been called, we have to obey that message no matter what. You don't think Jesus took any kind of persecution for preaching this message out? Uh, come on. Folks, so listen, we're in good company. I got to remember that. I put myself in check. When I get the negative comments, when I get all the name calling, uh, when I get all the uh, the bashing, uh, you know, and that's man. That's man and that's the kind of world they live in. Uh, it's easier for them to put people down than, uh, you know, to just, to you know, be at peace. They would rather have strife than peace. They would rather be jealous and angry and miserable and lonely and rip other people apart than be at God's peace. And I've been called that a lot, that I am jealous. I, no, I don't think so. I, uh, I'm not jealous. I know what God has given me. I have not forgotten that. All right, so listen, I got a couple of quick ones. Then we're going to go to the NLT or the uh, look for and attend the right church and possibly obey God, the message. I'm, I'm just building the cornerstones of the foundation of the Word of God. Amen. Happy to have you guys. Grateful that you're here. The riches of God's grace in Ephesians 1, 3, and 6 with the main verse in Ephesians 1, 5, and 6. Uh, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Now, this is from a daily uh, devotional. This is not out of the Bible, but these are biblical scriptures. 
So people get that wrong. They get it mixed up. I am not reading out of the Bible at the moment. This is uh, some daily devotionals that I got. Uh, and it's so, I mean, this is, I like it. I don't know. I've been judged and criticized and thrown, you know, all these haters out there and I love them anyway. Um, you guys, you know, listen, open up your hearts, your minds, and, uh, so that you can receive Jesus into your hearts. All right, so I got some scriptures, got this one. All right, have you ever questioned your acceptability? Have you ever wondered if you are truly lovable? When God holds out our, uh, his salvation to you, he is not extending a membership to an obscure club. He is inviting you to uh, to a profound, wondering, wonderful relationship that was made possible through his death on the cross. In Ephesians 1, 5, and 6, as I take notes, um, it reads, teaches us, that God's will was to adopt you as his own through the work of Christ. It was his will that uh, his will that your bond to him be the strongest it could be. Uh, so he did it through the most precious relationship he has ever created. He is accepting you as his child. William Brown of Baker's Evangelical Dictionary writes, God is a father who graciously adopts believers in Christ unto his spiritual family and grants them all the privileges of heirship. Remember, we are heirs of Christ. Salvation is much more than forgiveness of sins and deliverance from condemnation. It is also a position of, uh, position of great blessing Believers are children of God. The riches of God's grace provides a wonderful family for you. God does not want a detached relationship. His desire is for deep communion because he loves you with an overwhelming love. You are accepted by God and special to him. Enjoy your possession, your position as his child. Lord, thank you for the riches of your grace. Thank you that I have been adopted into your family and that I am loved and accepted by you. Amen. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, all right, so just writing... Uh, writing extra notes here. All right, we got the NLT. Hey, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you the word. Building the foundation, uh, building the cornerstones of the foundation, folks. Look for, as we continue, uh, get your books out. It is the uh, NLT. I'll get you a copy. You got my sites. You know where to get a hold of me. Listen, you want to build a foundation with God, I'm going to give it to you, and I'm going to build this up, folks. Let's camera. There we go. I can see you. Can you see me? I miss you. All right. Look for and attend the right church. One of the essential building blocks of spiritual growth is fellowship with other believers by becoming part of a local church. The church meaning the entire body of Christians. It's true. Um, is not really an organization so much as an organism. It thrives by keeping its members spiritually active and well-fed. The church provides you with spiritual instruction from God's word. Is it building you up? Are you being built up and edified in uh, in God's word? Or are you being torn down? Is it more like a soap opera? Uh, all right, so, um, let's see, all right, so, I got 
got this message going on. As usual. All right. So let's continue. Now, like I said, is the church, is the pastor leading you uh, to a higher calling? Uh, Are you being fed? Are you being spiritually and emotionally fed? Or are you being turned uh, or torn down? Are you sidetracked, distracted? Is it all about them and not about you and not about the message? Uh, Because I know a lot of them out there are, you know, listen, I'm not judging. I'm just observing. I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I've known a lot. And I've I've observed a lot of egotistical or ego uh, messages. Um, You know, uh, not Holy Spirit led, but emotionally led. And that's a dangerous thing. That is a that is a bad thing, um, and I've watched a lot of stuff on YouTube where they've been corrected. You know, they, we're all you know we're all sometimes get into the flesh, and uh, so we've got to uh, <laughs> and bump my microphone again. Uh, we have uh, we've got to watch that. We've got to use discernment uh, and not be uh, thrown off or spiritually distracted by the preacher by somebody up there talking out of emotion and not out of the being spiritual led spirit led cuz you got to you know use your discernment folks a lot of stuff going on you just you never know and you just got to be careful watch you know listen to hear that word all right um so this is why we're going into this this is why you know you got to are you thirsting for God's word um, let's see. So we left off with God with other believers enables you. Now, it kind of allows you to worship with, uh, God with other believers, enables you to use your God-given gifts and abilities as God intended and makes you accountable to spiritual leadership. Some people think they can get enough spiritual input from Christian television, radio programs, and books. While those things do have value, nothing can replace the need to become an active member of a church. Discretion. Uh, Think about it. If joining in fellowship with other believers was not important, why did Jesus establish the church? Look at... uh, Check this. Uh, Matthew sixteen eighteen. The Bible has plenty to say about the characteristics of a healthy, vibrant church and the necessity of Christian fellowship. There are four helpful insights from God's word on looking for and attending the right church. What to look for in a church? You should look for a church that that has the qualities and the characteristics of the first twenty cent or first century church in Acts two forty two, forty four, and forty seven. Um, all right, so I'm just kind of going over a little bit of notes here. Uh, why the church needs you? Not only will you benefit from the church, but the church will benefit from you and your God given abilities. Now you got to watch that. Make sure they use you. I mean, you're being available for them to use you. In Ephesians 4, 11, 16, you have a place in the church. God has given each one of us a unique role to play in our f- place of fellowship in 1 Corinthians 12, 12, 31. Amen. Now, obey God. The real evidence of a true Christian is a changed life. The great British preacher Chris or Charles Hayden Spurgeon, Spurgeon once said, "Of what value is the grace I profess to receive? It does if it does not dramatically change the way that I live. If it doesn't change the way that I live, I will it will never change my eternal destiny. A changed uh, life begins with obedience to God." 
that means that you will have to stop doing certain things and start doing others. While God begins to change your heart and desires, once you have surrendered your life to him, uh, he still gives you the freedom to decide just how much of your life you will let him control. Uh, but know this, whatever you give up to fellow or follow Jesus Christ will pale in comparison to what he will give you in return. For example, when you give up sinful behaviors for God, he will replace your sin and forgiveness and a clear conscience with the incentive for obedience. Look at six specific ways the Bible instructs uh, us to obey God. And we're going to get into that next, folks. Uh, so hang on. We're going to continue this discussion as we go into this uh, this word here. We're going to continue. Uh, so there you go. We've got more on. Man, is this good or what, friends? I know. Uh, we're going to continue, like I said. We we've got a got a little bit of business to take care of. Uh, I've got some things I gotta do. Amen and amen. All right, my beautiful friends. I'm glad you guys could tune in with me. Get this message out. I know there's a lot of mistakes. I I uh, you know I'm trying to be as professional as I can. I pray on the Holy Spirit to. Uh, uh, me with the uh, you know the the spirit with the the good message here but i want to make sure you know that i just get this in this out i want to make sure that i i give you guys uh this message um as i close out with these or this one here second corinthians six six seven when we then as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain, but pureness by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love in uh, unfeigned by the word of truth, the power of God, by the arm of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. John twelve forty four fifty. 50. Jesus cried and said, he that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. I come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I come not to judge the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, I hath one that judges him. The word that I have spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. All right, you guys, listen, this has been awesome. This has been absolutely amazing. I know I got some mistakes on there. I'll have to correct them, maybe edit it. But anyway, I'm all loading it up. You guys, like I said, this guy, this hey, this has been an amazing hour and a half. Uh, as I uh, take care of some business, do an interview, get God's word out there all over the world, spread the message. Uh, we got everything queued up, ready to go. It's all all done and ready. Uh, looks like the mixer is good. The uh, the sound is good. We've got everything going on. You guys are amazing. I love you. Um, blessings and shalom as we fire up uh the uh the thunder uh hopefully you guys can hear that all right there we go we've got the thunder can you hear it god's warning all right you guys have been amazing i'll get back to you have a blessed day my friends uh, Life Grace Ministries, Uniting Christian Brotherhood, Inner Peace, One Ministries Connected. Join us, if you will, in uh, uh, prayer, agreement and prayer, 
Hey, this thing is spreading like wildfire, folks. We've got to get this message out. It's got to be out. You guys absolutely are beautiful. You're amazing. Uh, stay in the Word of God and uh, just hold on, friends. We've got, uh, you know, God's got something for you. He's got a plan. He's got a message. Uh, keep the faith. Uh, a special shout out to all that are watching and connected with me. What's up with that? Uh, all right. Let's get this, uh, the other computer rolling back on here again. And, uh, oh, there we go. All right. And, uh, get this message out. You guys are amazing. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you soon. You know where at. You know what to